Ta-da! Okay, Save with Crypto here. Okay, and this is the Ta-da uh, Launchpad um, event, if you like. So I'm going over to xlaunchpad.com, which, by the way, I cannot make work on my MacBook Air with Chrome. It just doesn't want to work. It just, I don't know, kind of flashes up momentarily, then just goes black. With my older MacBook Pro, it works fine. And with Safari here on my MacBook Air, it works fine. So I don't know why. I've tried clearing the cache and cookies and all that sort of stuff, which is always a pain, isn't it? And But I've done all that, and it just seems exactly the same. So, yeah, anyway, uh, let's have a look. Uh, live event, ta-da. So this is me. Okay, I've got seven minutes to go. Didn't realise that. I thought we were... Thought we were on now. Oh, hello. I could not find KYC data. That's not very good, is it? Why is that? Let's try. Uh, let's try reconnecting. Okay, so I've reconnected with X Portal. Hopefully, it will look okay now. Let's see. Live event. Oh, okay. Right. Good. So, is that all I've got? One. I've got one guaranteed winning ticket. Okay, included with sixteen tickets purchased. Not sure exactly what you mean by that, ta-da. Does that mean I have to buy 16 tickets to guarantee one winning? All right, I'll come back in six minutes. Okay, so just while I was waiting for that to happen, I went over to BitGet where I'd bought some EGLD last week when it was fairly cheap. And uh, I'd, I'd moved that across to my um, X-Portal uh, app, if you like. Well, my X-Portal wallet, let's say. Uh, so now this still says that so if i go participate now okay select number of tickets you want to buy okay it says you are about to buy 48 tada token tickets for 32.16 e gold oh i see so i can buy them all can i okay well, that's quite a lot of money to spend, isn't it? But um, what happens here is y you don't get 48 tickets. I'll probably get about five, but I won't know for a few days anyway. Okay, right. Well, I'm guaranteed one then. So now I have to wait until... When is it now? Okay, so lottery, lottery ticket buying ends tomorrow. Then February the 9th, lottery results and claim my winning tickets. Then you basically reclaim your non-used EGLD. And then at that point, you can add liquidity to the exchange if you want, and swaps can be enabled. Now, there is something worth noting with this, if I can find it. Firstly, the seed round, the price of a TADA token was 0 0.0125. Okay, so one and a quarter cents. In the private sale, that was 1.75. Now, I'm assuming this is now the public sale, which is... Uh, we're paying 2.2 .2 cents for each TADA token. Um, now, there is something somewhere about the tokens being locked for a while, which I'm not happy about, but at the same time, it stops people dumping them, doesn't it? Okay, there's some info here about the tokenomics of TADA. Okay, I think I've found what I'm looking for. So this is in the token metrics of uh, of TADA. This is its white paper, and it's this section here, token metrics. So it's talking about the prices and stuff. So yeah, you can see here that the price we're getting it for is 2.2 .2 cents there. Whereas the initial seed round, they were getting it at 1.25. Uh, so okay, well, we're paying about twice what the seed round was. So um, that sort of feels okay. Uh, vesting and strategy, this is the bit I'm not happy about, but at the same time, I can see why they've done it. So it says, we have designed a customised vesting system that ensures a controlled distribution of tokens over time, aligning with the project's milestones and goals. The table below gives all the details. So public sale, which is where we are now, percentage of total supply is 5%, token price, what I just said, upfront 25%. Okay, so you get some tokens up front and then the rest are locked for 12 months. Okay. Um, I can probably live with that because I'm probably not going to be putting up a ginormous amount of money. I'm obviously spent 30 odd e gold just, but I'll probably get quite a lot of that back on Friday and I probably won't end up with very many tokens at all, really. Now, what I did in the Hatton 
one is I got my tokens and then I was really pissed off because uh, it became cheaper when it was launched on the exchange. And I thought, why did I go through all that bollocks to sort of get hold of the lottery tickets and that kind of stuff? And I could have just bought it cheaper on, on the exchange. I think it was QCoin. I can't remember now. Anyway, uh, this one's obviously a bit different because you've got the vesting in the distribution of it. Now, with that, with the Hatton, there was nothing like this. So I got a bit pissed off and I sold my tokens and I sold them for when it was about 42 cents. And it's now over two dollars so i'm a bit annoyed with myself for doing that so at least this is going to stop me doing it although i don't like the idea of having locked tokens but i think bearing in mind all the kind of ai type narrative of the way things are going i think this tada thing might be quite good if they get it right so it might be good to be involved anyway and who knows i might get some on the exchange as well so that's what i'm doing so the next thing will be Friday when we get the results of the lottery and I find out how many TADA tokens I can actually get. And when I've done that, I'll decide what to do with the spare e-gold that I've got. So Friday should be quite interesting. So if you want to know about that, make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you've got the notifications set on all. Leave a nice comment down below. Because I do answer them all and it's always good fun to connect with you guys. Like the video while you're there and above all, tell your friends.